Hi, I'm Judy Morano and welcome to the show. Today I'm joined by the girls from Overman, which is a local girl band. Um, let's start with a brief introduction. Who are we? Uh, I'm Sophie. I'm the bassist. Okay. I'm Grace. I'm the drummer. Mm -hmm. I'm Jessica. I play guitar and I sing. Okay. So you guys are from where? Actually, why don't, we, why don't, I, why don't I talk to you first? <laughs> We're from Maypac. We're from Maypac. Okay. And you um, have known each other for how long? We, they know we knew each other from what, kindergarten? kindergarten? Yeah. And wow. We, we got closer, what, during ninth grade and now we're in tenth grade. So okay. For a year. Okay, so you guys were friends and you were sort of... I was kind of there. Well, we kind of... Well, they drifted yeah. apart. And then we met in kindergarten. Came back. We're you back together. We kindled. <laughs> yeah. We kindled. I like that word. Okay. So, um, your band, let's talk a little bit about your band, um, Oberman. What does it mean? It's... So we're big fans of SpongeBob. It's from <laughs> <laughs> where it's from the ending credits of the SpongeBob movie. There's a song called Ocean Man by Ween, and we took like one lyric from there, and that's okay. That's just <laughs> okay, SpongeBob fans. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. And has it always been just the three of you? No. No. So tell no. me how the how you morphed into this group of people. How did that happen? Well, there's five of us. Um, we had a singer and a keyboard player. I mm -hmm. was just a guitar player. Mm -hmm. um, and that started because Grace had the three that weren't me and Sophie. Uh -huh. yeah. And then she called me up and I got Sophie and then we were uh, five people. And then uh, we kind of went through a bunch of singers uh -huh. and nobody just seemed to kind of commit or really want to do it as much as we did. So uh -huh. we just yeah. kept it a trio. And no one really had like the right like ambition as we did. We had yeah. like this like strive to just like hit it from there like practice all the time like work hard and no one really like met up to that standard so okay. we so we eventually just were like we're just gonna keep the three of us and we from there it's been pretty successful okay so tell me about pretty successful where what have you guys been doing where do you get out how do we hear your music uh well we started off with open mics and then recently we just did a music fest that we created ourselves called Oberfest and we played there and we had we had a bunch of acts and we had that gig and we also played in Able Park at another music festival with other professional bands mm -hmm. and um, we've also played at private parties and events like that pretty but much just in the area uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and tell me about this event that you guys put together why don't you tell me a little bit about the event you put together so uh, I think as a band our goals I mean the music scene in Mail Pack isn't non-existent, but it's not really, um, it's not really active. Mm -hmm. So uh, we kind of just want to bring it back if it, it was there. But mm -hmm. um, are there yeah. a lot of bands your age? Are there a lot of young no. bands? No. No. no, there's really oh, there's us and then one other band that still goes to Mail Pack. Yeah. Other uh -huh. than that, no. Okay, so you you created this event. Tell me how you what did you do? How did you make it happen? Well, uh, we rented. Uh, clubhouse, Lake Ossie Clubhouse, um, and then we just personally contacted the musicians we knew, okay. and uh, we just promoted as much as we could for people to come, for people to play. Mm -hmm. so and what uh, kind of turnout did you have? I think like a hundred was the most that came. And how, many, and how many bands did you have? Uh, ten. Seven, seven or eight. Seven. So, yeah. yeah. Did you have to come in as a band, or could you come in as a solo person for your yeah, event? Yeah, yeah. There was, there was like violin players, there was, it was very... Uh, it was well. a, yeah, a diverse uh, group. Uh -huh. We we went from like violinists to rock bands. Yeah. The okay. And did you have to audition people for it? Were you no. judging no. them, or it was no, just to come? Could anybody come. could come. Yeah. 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 Okay. You'd mentioned that your guys are all very dedicated. I'm wondering how you fit this all in with with high school yeah. and <laughs> everything else. Can you? Uh, we all are very busy on our own. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to meet whenever we can during mm -hmm. the week after school or maybe on the weekends. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. We kept a schedule for a while, just like Sunday, like always on Sunday. It was always just practice on Sunday, uh -huh. nothing else. Also, most of our big stuff that we did was in the summer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Has this, this summer been kind of the, the um, I want to say kickoff, but that's not the right word, the first time you guys have really been out there playing a lot? Yeah. Yeah. I'd yeah. Say so. it, like our first time playing anywhere 
was May, like May 21st. Okay. Like okay. That was that's because you weren't ready to play before? Or that's because well, the environment wasn't right? Was it? I think we just didn't. We hadn't play. been around long enough. Okay. Yeah. So you, yeah. when, did you, when did you come together and start as, as the three of you? January. January. So like January. January. Okay. Nine. Nine, nine months. <laughs> nine months. Okay. And do any of you do any other activities besides the band? Yeah. I'm, as a drummer, I can pretty much play in all of the school bands. So I'm in the school symphonic band. Uh, marching band and jazz band. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of music. It is. It is. It and is. a lot of time. It is a lot of time. Yeah, what about you? Uh, I do the orchestra. I play the violin in the orchestra at uh -huh. school. And then I do color guard with the marching band. Okay. And Jessica? I play cymbals in marching band. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, I'm in uh, the, the drama productions. So that's what oh. I do. Oh, what is Mayapak doing this year? Do you they haven't picked it. They haven't picked yet. No. Okay, so ver I, verbal, vocal in the um, drama, you do some, yeah. you sing. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we've got squeezing in our time. Okay. You must be dedicated. It takes a lot. How are you getting yourselves out there? How are people knowing about you? Promoting. Like, what all kind of, of promotion? our promotion, social media is a big part of yeah. how to get people in our school or really anyone to know us mm -hmm. just because the internet is so big these days and that's uh -huh. really the only source of how you can get mm -hmm. people to mm -hmm. know And do you have a Facebook page? We have yeah. a Facebook page. We what have is Instagram. it called? Um, Oberman. 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 Yeah. Okay. And your Instagram? Oberman.band is the Oberman Instagram. Oberman.band. Is the okay. Instagram handle. And okay. Yeah. Alright, do you have a website yet? Not, no, yet. not yet. We have a YouTube that you can search, Oberman Band. There's no videos on it, though, so. Okay. No. So you have a YouTube preparing for videos. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Okay. And so I, I know what happens in, in Brewster, where we are right now, or Carmel. Kids know about the band because of the school. So you have the, are all your contacts pretty much your age in the school. How are you getting beyond that? Like, what's the, how are you getting yourselves out there a little bit more? Um. Like contacting, like yeah, you you know some people. I don't know. It's like whoever we can, like oh maybe my aunt's work friend, like we'll contact them yeah. and say yeah, oh yeah, it's really just connections. Uh -huh. you, yeah, uh -huh. um, being that it's Mayapak is such a small town uh -huh. that really just like putting yourself out there and trying to play at events will lead you to meet other people. Right. Yeah. Right, and not only school events, but events, yeah, events in outside. general. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the music that you play. What, what's what is it akin to? What are your, um, you know, who are you, kind of co not copying, but who are you using as your inspirations? I think we all have different, very different yeah. inspirations. Okay, so you get to go first because you're closest to me. <laughs> well, um, I feel like I'm more of like the alternative kind of person. Like I don't, I'm. A fan of like the Arctic Monkeys or like I don't know the Red Hot Chili Peppers who are okay. known. Okay. Okay. So if I went onto your iPod yeah. or your phone, give me three artists that I'd find. Hippocampus, Coin, and I would say the Arctic Monkeys. Okay. I don't know. Not really known. I, I have to admit that I've heard <laughs> of none of them, but that doesn't mean that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm more of the classic rock person in the band. Um, as a drummer, I'm not totally shocked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'd say my biggest like, the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, the Ramones, like those. Oh, okay. Yeah, those okay. would be. Cause Is that the music your family listened to? Your parents listened to growing up? Yeah, though that was what I was raised on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, what were you raised on? I'm just curious as we go backwards. Uh, just like whatever is on the radio, and okay. then my brother showed me some stuff, and I thought it was good. Okay. So. All right, Jessica. What about you? I'm into, like, everything. Um, <laughs> like, if you went on my phone, you'd find anything. Give me three <laughs> artists that I'm going to find top, most played. Yeah. You'd find, like, Fleetwood Mac. That's nice. One of them. <laughs> then some, like, musical theater soundtrack. <laughs> uh huh. And then, like, a classic, well, Fleetwood's classic rock. Then, like, a pop song. So okay. it's like, Anybody it's particular? Everywhere. I'd say, like, Taylor Swift. Like, okay. I don't know, like, classic pop. Yeah. Like All right. this generation. Okay. And as far as music theater, you have a certain direction you're going to go in with that? Is it a, you know, operatic music theater? Is it Tommy? Is it, you know, what are you? Um, yeah, like contemporary musicals are like my thing. Like I'm so into Hamilton. Uh, 
And okay. Like, Have you seen it? No. No, I can't get tickets. <laughs> so. Well, let me know if you do. Yeah. Okay. And then, so when you all came together, you've got three very unique sounds yeah. that you all like. Yeah. How did you morph that together, and what is the sound we can expect from you? Uh, we definitely define ourselves as like a pop punk, pop rock type of band, which really is all of our genres mixed together. Okay. So when we do like choose our set list, set list and such, it's it varies. Like we go from the Beatles to the Arctic Monkeys to a rock version of Love Story by Taylor Swift. It really yeah. Yeah. we all it all works. It we all put in what we like. Okay. But it makes it harder to define your, your music because it's yeah. sort of all over the place. Uh, I mean, even when we do do a pop song, we put in a pop. It has like a, a certain sound to it. It's not. It's not like a. It's not like the pop version. It's our rock like sound put into it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you perform, are you performing only covers, or are you performing some of your own work? We have one. We, we have. have yeah. We have a lot of upcoming in songs the work. that we're writing in the works mm -hmm. and like right now we're a cover band because that's like where we're at because we've only been together for so long but mm -hmm. we're working to get our originals in it which we've wrote one that's finished and we have a bunch on the way and who, who does the writing no. I'd say Jessica, but like we all bring something to the table. We yeah. write our own parts, so like like I oh, can write yeah. the drum part and I can write the bass part. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, so what comes first, the music or the words? Depends. I think it's easier if music comes first because then the words kind of come with it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think yeah, depends. I've been. I always just come up with like random lines and I'll send them over to Jessica. And mm -hmm. we'll like going through life and something happens and you go, oh, that sound really nice for yeah. us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then mm -hmm. it's yeah. just. So I want to talk a little bit about your backgrounds in music. Obviously, you didn't just pick up these instruments and suddenly know how to play them. So we'll go reverse today. Jessica, when did you start playing, and what did you start playing? I started taking guitar lessons when I was 10. Mm -hmm. um, and then I quit after, like, two or three years. Um, and then I picked up, like, a bunch more instruments just on like? my own. Like piano. And I kind of I play, like, every string instrument that you wouldn't use a bow for. So I play like mandolin and, and ukulele mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Uh huh. And um, yeah. That's and piano as well. Yeah. Or piano. Are you proficient on the piano as well? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm better at guitar, but. <laughs> okay. Now, do you still take lessons, or are you no. feel like you've kind of got a handle on your own sound? Yes and no. I mean, the problem with lessons, I feel like I would, it would just kind of like hit a ceiling. Mm -hmm. I was kind of just doing the same thing over and over again, but uh, okay. I might go back and see uh, what I can learn. So. Okay. And what about you? Well, my family is a family of musicians, so I've always kind of had it there, and it was introduced to me mainly when I was seven years old. My dad took me downstairs to where we have a studio, oh. and he showed me my first rock drum beat when I was seven. <laughs> and That's awesome. Yeah, no, it was, it was good that he showed me it, because uh -huh. I'm still doing it today. Uh -huh. And then he also really influenced me on piano and taught me piano for a really long time okay. but then it was my own choice to go back to drums and that's what I really is my main now. Now do you take lessons at all? Have you ever taken formal lessons? Uh, I mainly self-taught. I took lessons for five months and it didn't really help at all really. I mean I learned some jazz technique stuff but mm -hmm. then nothing but for the most part like my whole life has been self-taught. And your in the f your family plays what instruments? Or do they do recording or sound uh, engineering? What are they doing? And my dad is a keyboardist. He has like six bands. Okay. And then my mom and brother are musical theater people, uh -huh. and they're performing. And then my little sister, who's six, is just thrown in the mix, and she's being taught piano and such. And okay. Yeah. And? I started... Piano. I took piano when I was like five. Uh -huh. Everyone starts on piano, though. So. I think it's the, it's the socially acceptable thing to teach your child when they're five years <laughs> oh old. Yeah. Just get yeah, on the yeah. piano, <laughs> and with the lady, the old lady with the with the yes. ruler and yeah. the yeah. 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 A family friend, like we knew her, and she taught me piano for a long time until like fifth grade, and then I didn't want to do it anymore. I quit, mm -hmm. and I during that time I joined the orchestra and like I had a good time with that violin. And I was talking to Jessica one day, and I was like, we were talking about what? Um, making a band. Making a band. That was uh -huh. it. And she was like, yeah, bass is like violin. I was like, bass is like violin. <laughs> and they are. 
Are okay. they similar? No, they aren't. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's the same string. E. The strings E A D G, and then aren't they backwards? Yeah, it's backwards. Yeah, it's string, but anyway. But go on. <laughs> similar enough that you and could then, transfer yeah. over. And I took like one lesson, and then I didn't take any more lessons, and then I self-taught myself. Self-taught myself. I taught myself <laughs> bass, and I've been. I understand. You taught yourself bass. Yes. And yeah. do you guys work individually on your craft, or do you only work when you're together? Like, do you work on? Yeah. Your guitar when you're by yourself. Do you work on your bass? Yeah. 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 No, we practice a lot by ourselves, uh -huh. and then once we get together, we practice our set and such. But we don't. Yeah. yeah. Especially as we can only get together so much, mm -hmm. so individual practice is really important. Mm -hmm. And you have a set set. That's a terrible way to put that. But do you have a set set you always play when you go out? I mean, you have a standard like this is our set when we're playing. Uh, Depends on how much time we, we have. We have like a set, and then we'll choose songs from yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have around thirty songs on our set list that okay. we can play, and depending on how much time we're given to play, like we'll choose maybe fifteen songs that we're allowed to play at the place. And mm -hmm. but we always have songs that we have down that we can perform. Yeah. That you're comfortable just jumping just in and doing. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the event that you guys are hosting with the studio around the corner because it's very exciting and I think it's a great way to get your sound over to this side of the county yeah. kind of crossing that yeah. chasm between <laughs> between Mayapak and Brewster Carmel I feel like there's a big space there that people don't yeah. mix yeah. so tell me about the event and what what is it what are we doing when is it tell me details it's October 13th October 13th um, it's like a small acoustic event, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just going to be a great way for uh, local team performers to meet. And uh, so, the what are the parameters? What are the rules to be part of this? Uh, you have to. I mean, you have to definitely be a teen. That's a th one <laughs> thing. A teen, yeah. okay. You have to be a teen. Still you in school. We want. We, we want. Still in high school, right? Still in high yeah. school. Yeah. Um, you have to be either from Brewster, Carmel, or Mayapack. Okay. Yeah. Um, it can only be acoustic, so you can't. Okay, so have, leave like, those amps at home. Leave the amps at home. Unless you're a bass player. Unless you're a bass player, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and no drum set. Cajon. Only acoustic, yeah. like a cajon, yeah. acoustic bongos. Right, right. And okay, and so how how is it going to be set up? You guys are going to just kind of have. I know bands are signing up. Yeah. How long are they playing for? Do you remember? I think three songs. Three songs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. Um, is it a competition? Is it just no. for enjoyment? just to have fun there's yeah, no yeah. like competition involved it's okay. mainly just now work. if I don't if I don't want to play any instruments can I just come and watch can I just come yeah. and listen yeah yes. anyone can come it's encourage one. please yeah, okay. please come and it's a free event correct yeah yes. yes so you want to encourage people to come and your friends to come obviously yeah. Yeah. okay and um, how many bands do you think will be able to perform do you have any idea do you have anybody signed up yet only us <laughs> only yeah. you guys no okay well this is the perfect <laughs> opportunity to say now is a great time to sign up for these event for this event. Yeah, no. yeah. You don't need any audition time. You don't need anything but some material, right? Yeah. Right. And that's it. And what is your hope? Like, what do you hope will come out of this? Well, just to have a, a good time. Yeah, just <laughs> a good time. It's a way for uh, people to just share their music in an easy way, easy and free way. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, to meet new people and. Things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Hoping we can do other ones like it. Is that the yeah, kind of yeah. the goal? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. So you guys are all sophomores in high school. And yeah. this is something you're doing right now. Obviously, you're very passionate about it. Where do you see yourselves going with this? I mean, what is you? Do you have like a vision? Do you have like a, if I had a dream, I would do this kind of thing? We've talked about it. Yeah. Well, everybody wants to be yeah. famous. It's not yeah. even that we want to be famous. It's that we want to, we just want to, somehow make a living yeah. like music. through okay. music even okay. along the guidelines of that not necessarily like fame but just you know have some sort of following I want to become like an all originals band yeah, yeah. so oh is goal. that your goal yeah. your goal is to um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and do you think you'll pursue higher education to do that I mean are you thinking like you know I know a, a somebody who writes music beautifully but he took a creative writing path yeah. through college to learn how to write so well and then kind of applies that to his music is that something that interests you or are you kind of yeah. thinking it's a yeah definitely yeah. want to major in music in college major yeah. in music um, yeah something with that uh -huh. and if it's right now we're all taking a sound engineering class at our school yeah. uh-huh and what's that like it's well it's only it's been two days it's, it's been two days, days. okay <laughs> me and you are in tech in the 
production. In the productions. Sucks. While she's on stage, we're backstage yeah. with the tech. Uh -huh. And do you enjoy that? Do yeah. you enjoy the tech no, part of it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you on sound? Is that what you're working I'm on? I'm on sound. She's on I'm lights. I'm on spotlights. On lights. <laughs> okay. So, um, college possibly. Do we think we're going to stay together as a band? I mean, I, I if mean, it works out, yeah. yeah. We can't say no because that yeah. sounds bad. <laughs> no, say no looks bad, yeah. <laughs> say no looks bad. Okay. All right. And then anybody want to like teach or you want to just, is it going to be a music focus and do we have a fallback plan? Because you know music is one of those professions right. that, yeah. and I've met a lot of musicians doing this and I met a lot of musicians running the studio and many of them have talked about their fallback plan because we all know the music yeah. industry is really hard to yeah. break into. Mm -hmm. So do you have a fallback plan? Something science or math. I don't know. Something science related? Yeah. I'd say like even to go and say like sound engineering like that would be a that would be something you could fall back on. Yeah. What about you, Jess? Yeah, I'd say a fallback plan is like, like a music job. Like I can't see myself doing anything else. I don't know what my fallback is yet, but maybe like a music teacher, uh -huh. you know, something like that. Something, something that like that. Music. Yeah, I think it's important. I think you know, wanting success and you know, having that drive is fantastic. Yeah. And I think you guys are young enough. To, it's, I love your energy, and I love <laughs> that you want to do that. But I think the reality is you have to look at it from multiple sides and yeah. think, well, what, you know, what if? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So your next, are you playing anywhere local besides the studio around the corner on October thirteenth at <laughs> seven to ten p.m.? Are you playing anywhere else? On October 7th, we're playing The Loft with uh, two other bands. And what is The Loft and where is The Loft? It's in Poughkeepsie. It's uh, a rock venue. Uh huh. And uh, it's $10 to get in. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. We're also playing at the Grange Fair. September 9th. Oh, yeah. This Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. September 9th, we're playing from 2.15 to 2.45 at the Yorktown Grange Fair. Uh huh. As well as the October 7th Loft. Wow, and the October seventh is with other other. You said two other bands. Yeah, are they um, yeah. professional bands or are they? Yeah. I think yeah. they're yeah. professional, and it's a ticketed event. So. It's a ticketed event, so it was an audition thing. Um, no, it was. It we, was a we just the opportunities came up to us. Yeah, and we took it. Yeah, so we that's, auditioned. That's great. Well, you guys are great. I'm so glad I got to meet you. I'm looking nice. forward to hearing you. We're gonna close today in one second. We're gonna close with a little clip of you guys playing so we can all okay. hear the sound that comes together when your three unique individuals come together. Um, again, our event is October 13th. We definitely want to have everybody come out and sign yes. up if you're a band member, if you own a band, if you run a band, come on over. Thank you everyone today for joining us. And again, this is Oberman. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of them and we will cut to a clip of them playing. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm.